Hi, it's Zoe from Open Sight Hampshire, smartphone advisor for visually impaired people. This is my next video on voiceover, on using voiceover, which is available on your iPhones and iPads. It's built in. You do not need to buy anything extra or download any apps onto your phone or your iPad. It is built in. Um, I'm going to show you, demonstrate to you some of the finger gestures when you're using voiceover. So as I explained before, voiceover is a text to speech ability, if you like. So anywhere you touch on the screen or slide your finger on the screen, whatever text is there, voiceover will talk it. So at the moment, my iPhone is on its home page, which has got lots of different apps on there. Now, if I put my finger on the screen, one finger. Nice time folder. Apps. Okay, now if I use that one finger and just Shocking folder. slide it, Shocking folder. WhatsApp, download, soundscape, seeing AI, bus checker, Zoom, Amazon Alexa, URL mail folder. Okay, apps. so wherever I slide my finger, Set product, livestock, message, clock, it will read Shocking any folder. text. ATM the apps. other way you can move around your screen with voiceover on is to swipe your screen so with one finger from the left to right across the screen just swipe right. your finger WhatsApp. and it will move um, along the screen when it gets to the end of the screen it will automatically as you swipe go to the, the next app on the left hand side underneath the row you've just done See now if you wanted to open an app or you want to take an action on something then with that one finger you double tap on anywhere on the screen so when you hear what you want to open so for instance Zoom. i'm going to open seeing ai 30, seeing ai okay so she's told me I'm on Seeing AI. Now, if I double tap anywhere on the screen, she will open Seeing AI for me. Seeing AI menu button. Okay, so she's opened Seeing AI for me and I tap anywhere on the screen with one finger. Now to go out of the app, depending on what model of iPhone you have, if you, or iPad, if you have an iPhone or iPad that has a home button at the bottom, which is a circle, you can feel it embossed on the bottom of the screen, you can press that once and it would take you back to the home screen where you were. If you've got an iPhone that is iPhone 10 upwards, then you will need to slide your one finger from the bottom middle of the screen up the screen until you hear two beeps and then release your finger and it will take you back to the home screen so let me demonstrate from the bottom of the screen i'm going to slide my finger up till i hear two beeps and then release See. and it takes me back to the home screen you will get used to the how many beeps because there's three beeps for one for a certain thing and two beeps to bring you back out of an app so if i wanted to open a different app i would use my one finger and i would Amazon app. move around to find settings productivity folder okay now there's a few more apps in this folder so now if i double tap anywhere on the screen productivity heading okay it's telling me that i'm in my productivity folder now if i put either swipe right with my one finger or put my finger on the screen to listen notes that's my notes one reminders reminders stocks and stocks now if I wanted to open that, I would use that one finger and double tap. Stocks. Welcome to stock. And it's opened up stocks. As you probably can tell, I don't normally use this app because I never have. So it's gone right to uh, the digital. Now, I don't want to bother with that. So again, to come out of 
this app using voiceover if i had a iphone or ipad that had a home button at the bottom a round button that you can feel i would press that once and it would take me back to the home screen but i have an iphone 11 pro here so i need to put my finger near the bottom middle of the screen and i need to slide it up until i hear the second beep and release Stop. and it's taken me back to the folder i opened now again to come out of this um to come out of this i would need to do exactly the same i would press that home button if i had it to come back out or i use my one finger at the bottom bottom middle and i tend to feel where the bottom of the screen is with my finger and leave my thumb near where i want to start to go up the screen with my finger so my thumb is against the edge of my phone and then I just swipe my one finger up the screen till I hear the second beep and release Productivity folder. and it's Three taking apps. me back to the home screen so that's two ways of navigating around your iPhone or iPad with voiceover on and that's opening folders and opening apps and how to get out of them please look out for my next video where I will be showing you how to move to the next page on your iPhone or iPad. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, do get in touch with me at OpenSite Hampshire. If you'd like a tutorial, get in touch. And please do remember to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss a single thing. Thank you.